Marine mammals are animals that depend on the ocean to survive. Some examples of marine mammals include dolphins, manatees, and whales. They're similar to humans, where they have hair on their bodies, give birth to live young, feed their young, and need air to breathe. Today, we're going to talk about a pretty special marine mammal, the humpback whale. Humpback whales are among the largest marine mammals that call the ocean home. They range in length from 40 to 50 feet and can weigh up to 80,000 pounds. Here's a comparison between a humpback, an elephant, and a human. Humpbacks are primarily dark gray or black with some white on their flippers, bellies, and underside of their fluke. As you can see here, this whale has almost completely white flippers with some white on its belly and fluke. Humpbacks have some unique external characteristics. Let's explore some. Their fluke, or tail, is one of the most important parts of their body. Each whale has different markings and notches that make their fluke as unique as human fingerprints. Their tail helps them easily glide through the water and can be 18 feet wide. That's half the size of a typical yellow school bus. A humpback's dorsal fin is also unique to each individual. It's a small fin that sits on the hump of their back and is positioned closer to their fluke. Another interesting characteristic are humpback whales' throat pleats. These are folds of skin that run from their lower jaw to their belly. They expand when they gulp in food and water and contract when the whale expels the excess water. A key feature to recognize humpback whales are their pectoral fins, or flippers. They can reach 15 feet long and help the whale balance while swimming. Their scientific name is Megaterra nova Inglae, with Megaterra translating to big winged. This name comes from the large size of their flippers. Even though whales live in the water, remember, they breathe air, just like humans. When a whale needs to breathe, it comes up to the surface, opens its blowhole, and breathes. Its blowhole is on top of its head and serves the same purpose as humans' nostrils. Humpbacks, along with all baleen whales, have one pair of blowholes. Humpbacks don't have great eyesight, even though their eyes are the size of grapefruits so they depend on their sense of hearing. Can you imagine having two grapefruit-sized eyes and not being able to see very well? Humpback whales have fist-sized bumps on their head and flippers called tubercles that have a short, stiff hair coming out of each one. Scientists don't know the exact purpose of the tubercles, but they think it helps the whales sense their surroundings, like a dog's or cat's whiskers. Humpbacks belong to a group of whales that have baleen instead of teeth. These long plates of baleen form a hairy mat on the roof of their mouth. Each plate is 6 to 10 feet long and overlap each other. These plates are made from the same material as human fingernails. Can you imagine having long hairy fingernails on the roof of your mouth? Here is a short clip that shows humpback whales feeding. Look closely. Can you spot the baleen and throat pleats? Humpbacks perform a special feeding habit called bubble net feeding. They blow bubbles from below in a circle, trapping the fish in a net, and then swimming up through the school to get a large mouthful of food. Speaking of foraging habits, humpbacks spend the summer months in the cold, nutrient-rich feeding grounds off the coasts of Alaska and New England, eating and fattening up for their long journey south. When the season begins to change, they migrate to warmer, tropical waters. Here is where they breed and birth their calves. After about four to six months in tropical waters, they start their journey north again. Humpbacks have the longest migration pattern of any mammal on the planet. They swim between 3,000 and 5,000 miles one way. That is comparable to driving from Miami, Florida to Anchorage, Alaska. Humpbacks have unique social surface behaviors. They swim closer to shore during their trip south and can be seen breaching, flippering, or lobtailing, among other behaviors. Breaching is when a whale leaps out of the water headfirst, twisting in the air and splashing back into the ocean. Other whales perform this behavior, but humpbacks have been observed doing it the most. Flippering is when a whale lifts one or both of its flippers out of the water and slaps them against the surface. 
Wobtailing is when a whale lifts its fluke out of the water, continuously slapping the surface with its tail. Scientists don't know exactly why whales perform these behaviors, but they think they are either playing or possibly warning others of danger. The flipper and fluke slaps can be heard by other whales many miles away. Another interesting behavior humpbacks do is create songs. They sing fairly long, complex songs. However, only the males sing these intricate songs, so scientists believe it may be to attract females. Here's an example of what one of those songs sounds like. Even though these animals have been protected by U.S. law since 1972, they still face threats. The Marine Mammal Protection Act prevents people from directly harming them in any way. However, human acts can still indirectly harm these magnificent creatures. Humpback whales can face threats from boat strikes, entanglement in fishing gear, pollution, climate change, and underwater noise. FAU Harbor Branch, along with other organizations, work together on research efforts to make sure humpback whales, as well as other marine mammals, remain protected. Before the killing of whales became illegal, humpbacks were hunted to near extinction. Because of laws and science, within the past 50 years, the humpback whale population has miraculously rebounded. One way science is protecting these animals is by capturing photos of their dorsal fins and flukes. The notches and patterns are unique to each individual, like human fingerprints. By creating a library of photos and videos, scientists are able to recognize specific whales and follow them for years. Researchers worldwide work together to photograph and track these traveling giants. Another way biologists help whales is by rescuing them if they become tangled and trapped in fishing gear. Rescuers attach large floats to the object wrapped around the animal, which allows them to remove it before the animal swims away. After it's released, researchers follow the whale to make sure it's okay. What can you do to keep humpback whales safe? You can spread the word about your favorite humpback whale fact because conservation starts with education. When you are at the beach, don't litter. Any trash left behind could end up in the ocean, harming marine mammals and other wildlife. If you spot a whale and are located from Florida to North Carolina, you can report sightings to 877-WHALE-HELP. From Virginia to Maine, sightings can be reported to 866-755-NOAA. Humpback whales are the most entertaining marine mammals for whale watching expeditions, as well as being magnificent creatures. A world without humpback whales is unimaginable. Science has played a big role in bringing back their population from near extinction, and we want to preserve the ocean for years to come. This work is supported by the Protect Florida Whales Specialty License Plate Program, which is administered by the Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute Foundation. You can support whale research and education programs by purchasing a plate online or from your local tax collector's office. For more information on marine mammals, you can visit our website at fau.edu hboi and click on the Marine Ecosystem Conservation tab.